Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to 10 on the 10th, hosted by Metal Scrap and Chick here on YouTube. Everyone that is participating in the collaboration will be in the description box. Please click on it and see what lovely cards they have made for this month. So I want to share with you my thoughts when I started this journey and why we didn't end up where we're supposed to end up. So first, let's talk about vision. In my head, I was like, I want to make something that looks a little bit on the vintage side. So this right here, I have a giant, not a giant, but um, a big roll, it's pretty big, a big, ro a big roll of Christmas paper. It's not Christmas, it's Christmas songs. So all this right here is on a big roll, like a roll of Christmas wrapping paper. But when I saw it, I had went to an estate sale and I was like, ooh, I want that because I can make a junk journal with it. You see, I like to make my junk journals so the lines are going just how you see it, not vertical lines going horizontal and horizontal lines going vertical. I like for my lines to be horizontal across the board. So if I was making a junk journal, I know this is about a card, but if I was making a junk journal, this would be a great book because it would match, it would fit the, the length of a junk journal. So anyway, I was like, this will be the card topper. Card front, you know, card top, card front. And then I was like, okay, what else do I want to put on there? And I was like, oh, I really want to use this, my, the die. I used this last year, my poinsettia die. A lot I have a I have a few poinsettia stamps and stuff that I want to use so you'll be seeing these in the next couple of months and then I was like yes I could use a rectangle shaped card to put Merry Christmas on there so I was like yes we'll use a five by seven card Right, so we use a five by seven card. We'll put this as the card front, and then we'll put this here because in my head I had three, right? So I need to use my smaller die. <laughs> so I said, Yes, we'll do three, and I was like, We can have one here at the top, one here, and one here to kind of round it and then we'll have the Merry Christmas and then I went online and found I didn't want to step out the cardinal but I was like yeah we'll use the cardinal and we'll end it like that and it would be look it would be amazing it would look vintage right no 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 and no so as an example this is just a trash sheet of paper I could recycle it and make it a uh, something for something else so now, mind you, I was going to have three poinsettias going around that. The problem was I was overzealous with what I thought was going to happen. These are too big, so I have to use my smaller poinsettia dies. That's number one. I fussy cut ten of these things out. Ten. So, you know you only seen those. I, this is a free image from somewhere that I got in February. Because I was like, yes, this is going to be great. And then I was going to put... You know, a thin little rectangle piece <laughs> that said Merry Christmas, right? It did not work because I was not thinking properly. So anyway, I, I scrapped that idea. I was like, okay, we won't even use the 5 by 7 cards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What we'll do is just work with what we have. So I'll share with you what I actually made for this month. And the one thing that I did not do is I did not emboss all of them because this embossing folder is pretty brutal. If I were to go and try to do anything to this one particular one, it would tear. It is a Tim Holtz um, die and embossing. So, you know, his stuff is more on the vintage side versus not vintagey. So maybe it's supposed to have like a little tear here there. But I didn't want to overdo it. So I'm going to share with you some of the stages that I went through last night, right? 
So this is one of the cards. I cut the paper wrong, so that's why it's like that. It's all of them are blank on the inside, so we can get that out the way. You cannot put these in the envelope. You cannot mail this because it's not flat. You have to make your own envelope or put in a larger size envelope. And you can mail this in a box with, you know, the Christmas present that you're going to send. I would not try to recommend sending this. The post office would probably charge you the amount that it would cost to send a box. But anyway, I used a minimum of six petals. And I just curl the edges over and the one thing I don't like and I didn't do this on all of them I don't like this centerpiece because I didn't um, put it through the embossing folder but I just don't like how it looks so I left it I left a lot of them empty I think I'd rather put a flat back gem or maybe um, something different in there so I left them blank because I couldn't I was frustrated I finished this project well after midnight because it was just it was very time consuming you know and I tell you um, assembly line cards can be multiple of the same assembly line cards can be a little bit uh, a pain so I had these from when the, I cut these out and I just put happy holidays and layered that and I thought it would be really good and I know what you think you probably said oh you could just put the cardinal at the top it'll look nice I thought about that So what I'm going to do is just put some sequins probably right here, one, two, three, or five or something, or leave it as is. And then we got here. This is how they're all supposed to look. Landscape. And I thought about that too, and I just feel like, I don't know, because I want the music paper to be seen as well so I'm not sure but anyway these are the cards that I have created and I thought that these different colors will look really nice on here and like I said I left that centerpiece empty so this is another one that's kind of flat and what I did with this I just kind of burnished it in like if I was doing a different type of flower I wanted to see the different dimensions of how it would look and this one is okay. I mean, you can flatten this one down and put it in the mail if you wanted to. And you see, this is a plain um, dough decoration centerpiece. And I still don't really care for it. I probably should emboss it and I may be more happy with it. And this is um, two different goals. And I got these from Hobby Lobby, the papers from Hobby Lobby. The shiny papers from Hobby Lobby. They usually have it $5.99. And I usually get it when it's on half off. Because I don't want to pay $6 for them. A few sheets. And then I was like, well, let's see how it would look flat. And I, you be the judge. It's a little bit dimensional, but it's all flat. Again, a minimum of six petals. And the centerpiece is missing. But I don't know. You let me know. Because this one may be the only one that would look okay with the bird on here. But I feel like I would have to cut this bow and the holly and all that off to make it fit. So I don't know if that actually makes any sense. Then we got this one. And as you can see, I did use the embossing folder on some of them. And I did that. And I just didn't want the center pieces to be the same color. I want to give it a little bit of different color. So this has some green, more than one layer of green in there. And you know, people tend to do this with the cards. It's all glued down though. And I, I like this one a lot, even though it doesn't have a centerpiece yet. <laughs> but that would be really cool. And this one has a lot. I tried to use the goal up. And you can see it has the two different color goals. And then it has some embossing as well. Now, if you were into fluffing your things up, say you're going to give this card to your friend at your next, you know, when you go out to meet them during the holidays, you can definitely fluff all of this up and present this to your friend in a nice box envelope that you make and then we have this one same thing as that one just different colors and then we have this one this is also one of my favorite because I just did 
a little bit more I thought about what I was doing when I was fluffing the, the papers up and I was like yep yeah, these will not be able to go in the mail alone I feel like these even if you was to put it in a, a five by seven envelope you still got to do some flattening so you may need to make a two inch envelope you know the, the the width or the height of it not the length width but the off the ground so this is what I did for 10 on 10 I really this was a labor of love my dream that I wanted to do didn't come out properly I'll try it again next month or May or June I mean we're just barely in March right so I have more months to <laughs> try this out so i want to say thank you all for watching i hope that you had a good time please click on the description box to see what everyone else is creating in a collaboration until next time happy crafting